Hi everyone. Uh, SDN is an approach to network management that enables dynamic, programmatically efficient network configuration in order to improve network performance and monitoring, making it more like cloud computing than traditional network management. So basically, these are the things which we will take in this video. We will take what is the what is networking, its introduction, operation, what are the protocols, what is SGN controller, and then we conclude this video. So basically, what is networking? So as you know, net, networking is like connecting computers to share data uh, with each other uh, and all connect to the internet at the same time is basically your networking. So the key components which we use in networking are hub, router and switches. First of all, what is it like router is the brain of the network. So you can relate this thing with the human body and all the things are the body parts of the human body. So we can consider all this thing as the parts of the network. So router is connected with our switch, then switch is connected to the hubs and our laptops, computer and all. So if uh, then what is a router? So basically it forwards the packet between same or different network and it's a network layer device, which is a layer three and a router always use the IP addresses. Then we have the switch, switch used to receive the data and transfer them to the destination. And uh, the switch has an intelligence purpose, whereas your hub doesn't have any intelligent. It is, it is not an intelligent device. Basically, it forwards the packets to every device that is connected to the network. Whereas switch only send the packets to the destina destined, net destined places. Okay, so this is the def uh, definition between the hub and the switch. And the router hubs, which all these um, can make a network and these all are the components of the network so after getting the knowledge of the networking networking components let us see the planes of networking so we have three planes like data plane control plane and the management plane so the data plane is basically used to transfer the data between the devices and it de it deals with the entire processes involved in forwarding the pack packets from source to destination and it is also known as the user plane, carrier or barrier, bearer plane. Then we have the control plane. As the name indicates, it controls the movement of the data. It deals with the functional processes that help determine the best path okay, to transfer the data. Then we have the management plane and it control, monitor and manage the devices and carry the administrative traffic. So its primary function is to control, monitor and manage the devices which are connected with the management plane and the, the most important protocol which we use here is SNMP and CLI. Then now come what is in the, about the introduction to SDN. So now what is the difference between your um, traditional networking and uh, um, this software defined networking. So the traditional networking is basically you can say it uses the integrated hardware and software and uh, to direct the traffic across a series of router and switches and the original use case for SDN to virtualize the network by separating the control plane that manages the network from the data plane where traffic flows okay and um, and the software defined networking is like it is uh, original use case which I have just told you and here we have the different uh, control plane and a different data plane. So here we have all together, but here we have different, um, you can say device for the control plane and different for the data plane. And uh, one more thing I want to tell you, like SDN is being used in band to control how enterprises connect to their branch offices. So this use case called SD WAN, and um, it uses software to aggregate multiple type of network connections such as broadband, MPLS and wireless to create strong and cost effective solutions. Then this is the main um, SDN diagram. You can say the main purpose of SDN is to separate your control plane with the data plane and the vendor using the SDN. So many vendors are there, but the most important vendors are Brocad, Cisco, HP, VMware. So basically we have one smart controller and that smart controller manages all the network and traffic 
and the series of router and switches that forward the packet um, packets of traffic then the main architecture of sdn is like this so it is having the main three layers infrastructure layer the control layer and the application layer so the uh, infrastructure layer is basically it contain all the network devices and uh, this is a physical layer basically so um, it contains your switches your servers okay your switches which is having the open flow uh, protocol then dc gateway so all these things come in under the infrastructure layer then we have uh, control layer and the control layer is basically where the network intelligence resides and um, this plane is used for managing the network so the things which are in control layer is main is the sdn controller so sdn controller is basically resides in the control layer and it control all the network devices your switches your um, routers and all okay then we have this application layer and in this application layer we have the load balancers we have um, network op app automation application so all the applications are controlled over here in the application layer so these are the layers which constitute our sdn architecture then the operation of the sdn so sdn is basically responsible for the control plane means sdn controller is basically responsible for the control plane and these switches have a data plane and no control plane okay so this is main thing which we have to learn in sdn and this is uh, basically for the beginners so you should know the basics so this is for that then we have the control sdn controller which feeds the switches and data plane with information from its control plane and single device does the configuration of the entire network so it is also very cost effective because only one device which is a controller now controlling all the other devices then we have the interfaces two main interfaces over here is northbound interface and southbound interface so the southbound interface is basically to program the data plane sdn controller has to communicate with our network devices with the help of southbound interface our data plane is communicate with the sdn controller and with the northbound interface sdn controller communicate with the api and to the api with the users so these two important interfaces here we have anyone can um, ask this question in the interview also that how many interfaces are there is in the sdn so you can say like nvi and sbi and one more thing um this is our control plane then the key areas in sdn basically are uh, you can separate the data plane from the control plane then we have the centralization of the control plane over here then the standardized interfaces between the device and the controller like your open flow rest so these are the protocols which is using between the um, uh, you can say um, your uh, control plane your sdn controller and your data plane okay so then we have the programmability of control plane by external applications so these are the basically main things uh, and the sdn controller software runs on a separate hardware and thus providing centralized access to the entire network so the business values are flexibility automation visibility drive speed and revenue generation obviously this is a very good uh, platform where the revenue is generated and all these things are moved to cloud computing also then the protocols which are used in sdn main is your open flow so basically the open flow is the protocol that allows the sdn controller to communicate with these forwarding plane of the network devices and any device that wants to communicate with the sdn controller must supports the open flow protocol please remind this thing that the device should have open flow protocol otherwise you cannot make the sdn network within your within any um company or uh, within any firm okay so the companies like cisco and Bro uh, brocad are offering open flow enabled controllers and uh, these the benefits are centralized intelligence abstraction so all these thing are the benefits then the one of the main sdn controller is the open delight so this is founded by the linux foundation and the best virtual network to test open daylight if you want to test the open daylight you can please install mininet mininet is a kind of a um, sdn controller where you can test all the thing you can uh, prepare your network and then you can test it 
okay then uh, this is the open daylight controller and this controller is connected with the switch and the switch are connected with the host so all this thing you can uh, uh, prepare this virtual network on the mini net so please go for mini net if you want to uh, practice for open daylight sdn controller then the uh, industry trends so uh, there are so many vendors which are adopting sdn avaya and hp brocat cisco vmware so these are the com companies which are using um, the sdn you can learn also the sdn but the main important things which you have to uh, memorize other things are like sdn is something which uh, um, divide the control plane and the data plane second thing you have to remember memorize that we have sdn controller and that sdn controller is controlling all the data devices okay data plane devices and then we have two interfaces northbound interface and the southbound interface and um, we have a sdn controller like open daylight which is a uh, mini net you can uh, prepare your virtual network on mini net and you can practice on that okay thanks for listening for this video thank you